Your son led us there. He has been trafficking kids. Tell me where the other girls are. You're wrong. My son is not that. You can't save him from this. A trans woman was murdered. Vic's covered in bite marks. There's been another assault. It's some type of serial predator. What kind of monster does this? Transgender people are being targeted. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Anya Taylor-Joy, NBC Tonight. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. That breaking news is from Santa Clarita for a deputy-involved shooting investigation. There's a large scene, as you can see out there. Ileana Marino live overhead right now, News Chopper 4. Ileana. Chuck and Colleen, this shooting happened in the Valencia area of Santa Clarita about 30 minutes ago. LA County Sheriff's deputies opening fire on a man believed to have assaulted one of those deputies. And the shooting appears to have taken place in this wash area adjacent to the Bridgepoint community. The fire department was just here, but they didn't take anyone away to the hospital. So at this point, we do not know the man's condition. And we also do not know what led up to the shooting. But as is a standard protocol with these types of incidents, homicide investigators are now on their way. That is latest here from Santa Clarita in News Chopper 4. Let's send it back down to you in the studio. Thank you, Eliana. Also developing tonight, police and deputy recruits on a morning training run are hit by an SUV on the wrong side of the road. Tonight, five are in critical condition. Video shows what happened just before the moment of impact. NBC 4 is Beverly White is live at the crash site right now with more on the investigation. How many more were hurt, including the driver there? Beverly. That's right, Colleen. On this very spot around 6.30 this morning is where this Honda CRV barreled headlong, in, headlong into a sea of joggers, 21 of whom suffered minor to moderate injuries, and as you indicated, five suffered critical injuries. And the question now is why? Security video captured law enforcement recruits jogging north on Mills Avenue when a southbound Honda crossed over and slammed into the crowd. We froze the moment of impact. The video resumes as cadets, many already paramedics and EMTs, tended to their injured peers. I was sleeping and I thought there was an earthquake because um, there was a loud shaking and stuff. Neighbor Christine Perriman ran to help and snapped these photos of the chaos, including the unidentified male driver now accused of mowing down the recruits. He us and they had him sit down on the curb and then they took him away in ambulance, so they never handcuffed him. He looked very distraught. Patrol cars and ambulances rushed the injured to hospitals across the region. L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva likened the scene to an airplane wreck. The range of injuries we have, obviously, are, are head trauma. We have broken bones. We've had some loss of limb. The sheriff says recruits told him they heard the car accelerate but had no time to react. The CHP is handling the investigation. We're going to look at the totality of this incident from an intentional act to distracted driving to possibly impaired driving to an accident. The 22-year-old driver has not been named or arrested. CHP confirms he's in the hospital too. As for the injured recruits. We hope all of them make a full recovery. They'll have a chance to come back and complete the academy. We're praying for them, that God just protect them, protect their families, give comfort to them. The Honda's forward motion was halted by a utility pole that once stood right at this location. Now, anyone with information about what happened this morning is encouraged to contact the CHP at the Santa Fe Springs office. Reporting live in Whittier, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News. As Beverly just reported, the investigation is now just beginning, and you can always count on NBC4 for updates on that investigation on air and anytime at NBCLA.com and the NBCLA app. Meantime, the wait is over. NBC4 News projecting the city of Los Angeles has a new mayor, and it is Congresswoman Karen Bass. The news is now resonating throughout Los Angeles, and our Robert Kavasik tonight is gauging that reaction. He's in the West Adams area. Robert? Chuck and Colleen, it was here in West Adams where we found people raising a glass to all of the shattered glass. But any celebration is going to have to be short-lived. Karen Bass is set to be sworn in in less than a month. As for the next leader of Los Angeles, high praise, immediate expectations. 